I brought it home. I saved it. So good. Like this is literally my happiness. Good morning. I'm Maddie. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a what I eat in a day balanced and healthy while trying to lose weight. So it is eight in the morning and I'm, I just chugged a whole bunch of water just for the record. And now I'm about to have my caffeine. So my choice recently has been these Aspire healthy energy drinks. They are no calories, no sugar, no carbs, and it's green tea caffeine, which is what's in my Starbucks refreshers and my Dunkin' refreshers. So I like that because it's green tea and that's, I feel like that's better than, it's not like, you're not drinking a Celsius, if that makes sense. Like you're drinking basically a refresher that's kind of sparkling. Yes, that is, that's what I'm, that's what I drink for caffeine these days. Okay, it is 9 a.m. I'm moving very slow this morning, um, but it's time for breakfast. So currently I am cooking some scrambled eggs and some toast. And now I have to decide if I want to go the avocado toast route or not. Genuinely, I, <laughs> I'm like literally not lying. I tried avocado for the first time two weeks ago. So do I want to risk making it and it being gross or do i just want to do eggs and toast i just don't know it's my dilemma Okay, so it's not the prettiest avocado, so I only did it on one half, and then that way I get the best of both worlds. So, gotta finish up the eggs. All right, moment of truth. What do we think? Pretty good. A little too much salt, but not bad. I'm proud of that. Mm -hmm. Can you're in my microwave? I'm so sorry. It's just like the only place. Can you see the door? That's embarrassing. <laughs> it is almost noon, and so I'm gonna cook lunch. So this is my favorite lunch recipe recently. I'm obsessed with it. It's amazing. So if you're new here, or if you just don't watch my videos or you don't care, I don't know. I don't know what your life is. I am doing a 75% vegan diet to get rid of processed foods. So I'm allowed to have chicken, eggs, and a small amount of cheese because I don't want to fully give up protein or fully convert. Although I will eat tofu, but like Sometimes it's harder to cook than like getting a rotisserie chicken, you know? So this is my favorite recipe and it does have cheese and chicken on it, just beware. It is so incredibly simple and it's literally the best thing I've ever tasted. Like I could not find a recipe for it so I just like made it up myself and it's not revolutionary. Like I'm not taking credit for this recipe. Like that's not what this is about. So what you're gonna need is some pita bread, some mozzarella cheese or imitation cheese or whatever it's called. This is the light, low moisture mozzarella cheese from Trader Joe's because there is nothing I hate more than sticking my hand in a bag of cheese and it being wet. Mm. Mm. Then you're gonna need some chicken. I'm obviously not gonna use all of this, but. And then finally you need buffalo sauce. I am using no dairy buffalo sauce. So this is vegan. 
Primal Kitchen brand. I had a taste of this in Costco a little while ago and my mind was blown. So I bought eight because that's what you do at Costco because it's gonna go away. The oven is preheating to 425 because we want this thing crisp. We want a crunch to it, all right? You're gonna need a baking sheet, obvi. The best way to do this is to put your chicken, which I'm gonna roughly tear up. I feel like that's a, that's, a, that's a good amount. Okay, so you've got your chicken and then you're gonna pour just like whatever feels right to you of buffalo sauce. You honestly do not need that much. Then you're gonna take a spoon, you see that? And then you're just gonna mix it all up. You wanna get all of the chicken coated in the buffalo sauce. Pita, chicken, and then you're just gonna spoon it on. Then you're gonna take your cheese or topping, whatever you want. And I do like honestly such a little amount of cheese. Just put it all over. And I'm not joking when I tell you that's it. Like that is it. Like that, it's completely done. And I'm not joking, that took like three minutes. And then once the oven's preheated, you're just gonna put it in 18 to 20 minutes. Different pitas take less time. The Trader Joe's pita only takes like 12. This one from ShopRite takes like 20. So you just have to like feel it out. So I'll return to you once it's cooked and I will show you how crunchy and crispy and amazing this is. Pretty much after every meal, I feel like I deserve a sweet treat, and who says I does? Who who says I can't? My most recent obsession is Reese's Thins that have been in the fridge, so they're cold and crisp, and I love it. It's so good. Like this is literally my happiness. Mm. Three o'clock now. I'm going to show you how to make my favorite little. They're like they're called energy ball snack mine's a little different than most of the recipes you find just because i don't use peanut butter i prefer to use granola butter which i feel like i don't know i haven't seen many people talk about this we used to use it at the smoothie place that i worked at in philly i'm obsessed with it so if you don't know about it you should it's very very good <laughs> what you're gonna need is rolled oats dark chocolate chips or normal but i have dark because they're supposedly healthier maple syrup flax Oh no, flaxseed that just went over all of my floor. Okay, cinnamon. Optional up to you is vanilla. What we're gonna do is I like to blend my oats into like oat flour just because I like that texture better. You're gonna get a cup of oats. Again, I blend mine first. Okay, so you've got your oats. <laughs> Put those in. I also prefer to blend my chocolate chips unless they are mini. Half a cup of chocolate chips. Now this is really, really loud. So just like, if you're making them, keep that in mind. Once you have your chocolate chips blended, those can go in as well. Then you're gonna take half a cup of flaxseed, which is a lot, and if your body is not used to it, you're gonna be in the bathroom a lot. I'm gonna tell you that right now. So feel free to adjust that however you please. And then it's a third a cup of maple syrup. If you can get your syrup open, a third a cup of maple syrup or agave nectar or honey whatever your choice of sweetener is i like maple syrup because i don't like honey pour that in as well and then it's three fourths a cup of peanut butter or half a jar of granola butter i will say i think peanut butter would work better in this recipe just because it's stickier it's kind of like the the ingredient that combines it got all your different 
duff and then you can add your cinnamon i like a lot of cinnamon but that's just me and then this is also when you can add your vanilla or not i'm going to just because why not okay and then the hard part is mixing it a lot of recipes call for you to mix it with your hands which is usually what i end up doing even though that's kind of gross but you know you gotta do what you gotta do fall okay so you stir to combine and the granola butter is a little bit hard so it's not great oh it's so good mmm yum so once you get it to the consistency that you want it because I'm not using peanut butter mine's a little bit more crumbly than it's supposed to be so because of that I like to put it in the fridge for 30 minutes to an hour before I try to form it into any kind of shape so it firms it and cools it so that's what I'm gonna do and then I will revisit it and it's a perfect time to wash your dishes while you wait for that okay it's 4 12 i thought i'd update you on my snacking i actually have not snacked a lot today and i'm still feeling pretty full which is impressive i am however having another caffeine break ca caffeinated beverage because my headache is still with us unfortunately so and as i picked up the camera i just remembered that I should roll the energy balls and then cook dinner. But I don't want to, but I should. Bummer, okay. <laughs> okay, to roll the energy balls, it's super, super easy. You're gonna want a spoon to help you out. It looks the exact same, just a little bit more firm. I spoon a little bit and like the size I think I want, grab it with my hand. There you go, easy as that. So good. Okay, for dinner, I am making a cauliflower alfredo sauce. I don't know how it's gonna go. I really am intrigued, scared, kind of optimistic. I don't know. All the comments oh, that said that there was not enough full labor, and I can work with that. I can work with no flavor. I can add flavor, but I cannot make something bad taste good. So we're gonna try it. You're gonna put in a blender, two cups of steamed cauliflower, 10 ounces of tofu, juice of a lemon. It calls for half a lemon, but I'm gonna do a full lemon. I'm skipping the onion, three fourths a cup plant-based milk. I'm using almond milk. What do we think? Do we think that looks weird? Cause I think it looks a little bit weird. The chicken is popping off. I burned my foot while cooking. Pasta water got out and it went through my sock. No free feet pics, but like look at, like this is ridiculous. That just tastes like almost sour. I don't know what it is, but that does not sit right in my mouth. Okay. All right, well I assume that means we're going to plan B, which means something with broccoli, chicken, and noodles. Um make butter pasta that's not like incredibly healthy but okay what we're gonna do is we're gonna try this borson dairy free cheese because i love i love the one with dairy and so we're gonna try to mix this in and we're gonna we're gonna mm, i hope i don't ruin it chick-fil-a might be our dinner <laughs> Okay, so I make a non-dairy-free borsin pasta before I went on this diet, so let's see if it's anything. Let's see if it's just even edible. <laughs> mm hmm Okay. I can work with it. I can season this. We can get it to something that's not terrible. Gonna need some more lemon. <laughs> We're gonna need some Cajun seasoning. Then we just need some normal salt. All right, let's bowl it up.
there she is so the backup plan was needed but let's hope with the added seasonings this is edible all right i can eat that i brought it home i saved it it is okay all right the kitchen is clean of the accidental gross pasta but then the accidentally kind of good pasta i've got leftovers waiting for my husband to get home to eat thank you for watching my what i eat in a day healthy and balanced diet while trying to lose weight this diet has been going on for a week and a half and honestly my body already feels better visually i like look thinner my stomach is not as expanded i bloated i don't i don't know what the quite the right word is so yeah this whole eating healthy thing unfortunately it kind of works <laughs> which is just a little bit sad because i miss um a lot of the unhealthy food but you know what you can still have it in moderation it just cannot be every meal so i'm trying to tell myself so again thank you for watching this video if you liked it you should give it a thumbs up and then subscribe down below and maybe I'll make this a little series. So, hope you have a great day, great night, wherever you are in the world watching this. And I'll see y'all in my next video. Bye, guys.